Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 custom scenario. This is Mantinea 362. Stu has the Theban army, I have the Spartans. So, historically, this was a Theban victory. The Spartans were crushed. We'll see if we can change that. Special scenario things, let's see. Not really, whichever side has inflicted the most damage to victory in the event of a draw. I don't think this is going to end in a draw, so I'm not worried about that. Looks like we are inferior in lights, which is not too surprising. But we'll do what we can. Our cavalry is also inferior. Mantine and hoplites, average is some armor. Spartans, highly superior in armored, okay. Superior is some armor for the Boeotians. So what we probably need to do is find some way to get our left wing into action against his weaker right wing, which has some below average, etc. Great. So the Spartans forward. And oops, let's shift. Elian Heavy Cavalry to the right, just in case he tries to wrap all the way around. Yeah, Lutra and Mantinea are weird. There's like contradictory sources, and you know, because the deep Theban formation, it gets into the whole of these most debate about whether the Greek hoplites specifically did mass pushing, which cards on the table, I think they absolutely did not do that as a specific tactic, but others will disagree. I will at least get in the point that, you know, the, the idea that the Aspis, the hoplite shield is only good for mass pushing combat is kind of bullshit. I mean, they use these shields as marines fighting on ships when there's like what, like 10 hoplites on a trireme because they couldn't hold that many men besides the rowers and archers. And they seem to do just fine. So, just saying. All right. Next turn. Interesting. Well, we definitely need this cavalry to shift over. Why don't we send one unit of hoplites to assist that flank? Just one, though. Try to mirror his movements a little bit. And here, get you up there on the ridge. And good enough for now. Next turn. Hopefully we can use this ground to hold out for a while. 
I mean, who cares? Honestly. Lights, cavalry, they're not really... It's not that they're not important, but keeping them alive isn't really a priority here. Yeah, we need to start a hoplite clash while he's trying to get his stuff sorted out here. Next turn. And we can carry on here. Interesting, looks like I burned their AP because they're part of that command. Oops, well, too late. Not really any need to care about that though. Looks kind of difficult, I wonder. I feel like he has more hoplites, but I don't know if that's actually true at all. Let's take a quick count. Let's see, it's 8 plus 7, so 15, plus 6, so 21. <laughs> I have 21 to his 19, although, of course, some of these are enormous deep units of demon hoplites, but still. Next turn. To keep the flank of the hoplites covered. Same thing there. Okay, we'll see if he closes in here. If he does, then we'll be tr fighting a holding action here where we try to get our left wing into place before it's too late. Next turn.
Right. Don't care about any of that. Let's see what happens here. Nothing much. Let's see. That's interesting. So... If we charge here... Ah, damn. Fair enough. Put the gap. Shift over. Over. And over. Might need to plug a gap there. We're going to push in. Cover. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Cover their flank. Prepare to be irritating. None of this stuff really matters. Who cares, right? Okay. Uh, sure. We might break them. We might just lose our light javelin horse. Eh, that works too. Okay. We're good. Uh, zone out. Got the Salians. Hold firm. Skirmish a bit here. Okay. I'm a little, a little concerned. We have the Spartans, but then we also have the Mantineans, and they are not looking, not looking that intimidating. Let's hold off. Try to get our left wing into action. Somehow. Next turn. It's gonna block any flanking attempt. We're setting up that flank, and this unit's unmaneuverable, so it doesn't matter what we do. Can't save it. Here, go for a drop, see what that does. Nothing. In that case, we would be lucky to fall back. Nope. This is unfortunate, but let's get in. Let's try to kill this general. Push. It's fine. Sound them out. Then what? 
could charge. We could wait and see if we get pushed back here. That could be a long wait, to be honest. Screw it. Just go in. That's better. That's a lot better. We might be able to get a drop next turn then. Okay. Melee, we have combat strength modifier. Good. Threaten the drop, heal zone us out, blah blah, etc. etc. Okay. Charge, why not? Uh this isn't ideal. Let's scatter. Light situation is a bit unfavorable. Okay, then what? Um, here, you engage those light jabs. Good, you threaten the drop, then he'll come out, and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, you then can use this opportunity to. Mm, uh, yeah, just shove them along. That's fine. Even better. Bragged, sure, but that positions us better here. Shove them along. Same here. That's really unfortunate luck. We might as well enjoy killing the light cowboys. We're gonna lose one of our better hoplite units over this. Next turn, it's looking bad. We're gonna get auto dropped in two spots here. And in exchange, auto drop him in one spot. There's one. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. It's uh it's not looking great. There's that drop. Hmm, it's a little something exchange. That I could at least break the slingers. Is that worth it? Not really. Just shove them off. Then break the slingers. Okay. Then. Hmm. They'll evade. Let's consider here. Oh, we uh, do the impact before the bad cohesion check. I shouldn't have charged in there, to be honest. I should have waited for this unit to break first. Let's see if I pay for that mistake. I don't, but pure luck, really. Let's engage there. Interesting.
don't really see why I should bother doing anything here. We we'll lose all our lights. That was kind of to be expected given the, you know, a slight disparity is enough in a skirmish. of ammo, but we're going to go for it anyway. Nope. Okay. Oh yeah, we got to get that in first. That is a big deal. I suppose we might as well force the impact before the collapse. Fine. Okay, get ready to zone out that unit. Do we charge? I guess it's that or be shot at, so we might as well. Wait, this unit can form square too. Interesting. Although, why would I? Okay. Next turn. All right, cohesion checks. Held firm, that's very good. I was concerned about that. Uh, probably can't prevent a flank on at least one of these units next turn. Again, cohesion checks. Nope. Okay. Goodbye, the lights. Oh no, didn't go for the flank. Okay. Coming on the slaves for now. Good, and that relieves the combat strength modifier on this unit. You can now zone them out. You. This is interesting. Bit of a dilemma. We could charge, potentially drive them off map. Or. Yeah, waste of time. Waste of time. Okay. Here, charge downhill, right? Great. Yep, no one cares about you. Nobody cares. Right. Does he fall? No. But we did score one disruption. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. 
zone out those Steven Hoplites. Go for a charge here. Great. Go for a disrupt there. No dice. Uh, I don't love this. Hmm. Hang back. Well, that does buy that unit a bit of time, at least. It's not... Not looking the best. But what about a general? No. Alright. It's everyone. Technically, it's even, but, like, that's about to happen. I don't know. Next turn. Oh, so I'll just fucking jump off a cliff then. Cool. Okay. So if you charge here, do you fall back? Here, cover that shit. What a waste of Spartan hoplites. Okay. They're both suboptimal. At this point, we have to be ridiculously lucky if we want to hope to have any kind of win here. Which, generally, you know, being ridiculously lucky is not a strong plan. Do I take the time to set up a flank, or do I just try to pile in somewhere? Uh, we probably just have to pile in somewhere. It helps. How much it helps will depend on how we go with that.
Next turn. Oh, a rally. Two rallies. Three rallies. Move down 11%. Take that 13. Interesting. What does that do for us then? Disrupt. Cool. That means he can successfully charge with his Light cavalry then and free up this large unit of hot lights to charge. So let's move. Let's see what that does for us. Hold firm. Disrupted. Let's set up an auto drop for next turn. Nothing really this unit can do. I guess we could push them away in the hope of turning around at some point. At least being away from when these two units break. lucky they'll push us back here and then we can get a drop in but that's kind of a lot of task for do and i are both convinced that we're losing <laughs> i think i'm right uh considering this whole situation but uh you know we'll see i do have a uh, eight percent on the side of my argument at least so there's that and you know, this situation isn't great. Now it's 10%. But you know, I, I understand someone who also is always convinced that they're losing. That's definitely my attitude in these games. So, you know. Ooh, nice. Are you going to do it? No? That gives him combat strength. Yeah, here we go. The, oh, that's a nice little bonus for him. <coughs> Frag the light javelin horse. Well done. Didn't 
do any good. Yeah, uh, I definitely am appreciative of Stu being part of the a fellow of the tribe of pessimists just like me, but this is definitely his match. Let's see, I said that on turn 12, <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so auto drop that unit for starters. And then, presumably, come on. Break, break, they hold firm, I've disrupted, auto drop that unit. So we've cleared the flank, and all that gives us is parity, and we're still getting trashed elsewhere. We're going to risk, drop, well, actually, no, we're not. Fight that first. Yeah. And uh, shuffle it to place. And yeah, there's pretty much nothing we can do there except maybe, maybe hope that this unit doesn't break right away. Yeah, shut them off. Or do that. Now we have combat strength modifier back in our favor. Good. Correct. Turn to protect against a flank. We hold. And prepare to charge. Or, yeah, we can't do anything else. Okay, prepare to charge. You're extremely dead. Do what you can. Right, that's everyone. Next turn. Mm hmm. Oh, don't you dare break. <laughs> Squared up. Interesting. Nice, that helps. Technically we're ahead, but don't believe it. That's all about to go. Let's run away and waste time. Uh, you can't, so enjoy your getting killed. Force auto drop at least. Yeah, they hold firm, so we're gonna lose all these units. Uh, I don't know really where that's gonna leave us. Can we catch them? Not really. Too bad.
Okay. And unfortunately, we're about to get surrounded here. So yeah, our best units are unable to engage. Here we go. So, I do know how to call a game. Next turn. Okay, back into the action. They're gonna auto break. If not this turn, but actually definitely this turn, yeah. chase them but we can't catch them so no point hmm. fairly close to auto break uh, why don't we well see how that goes not great shove in here There's nothing we can do here. One of our units is going to get flanked. It's just a matter of how... Yep. Next turn. Right, there's a drop.
Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Well, this isn't going well. Fail to catch, very nice. And the king flees. I feel like we have enough quality units to deal with this situation. It's odd, I mean, so the Spartan army starts with two more units of hoplites, and that should matter. I guess I kind of wasted them in chasing lights, but also I think the gap in terms of lighting, a little bit cavalry, but mainly light strength is big enough, and that kind of snowballs into hampering your maneuver maneuverability so that if the Theban player, you know, kind of refuses an initial engagement, then you're kind of caught in a difficult position. Next turn. This might be the end. I don't think that's going to help, guys. <laughs> Charge again. Oh, you are fucking useless. Well, that's a problem. I was gonna hit them and then flank next turn, but now that is not an option. Just shove them off map. There's, there's that. There's nothing this unit can really do. You can threaten the flank anyway, but don't really know why. Alright. Next turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, welcome back.
Uh, it's honestly unfortunate because it's really just dragging it out. It's not actually going to give us a chance to win. I'll pile in and try to rescue. Advice is time to maybe try to rally up more. Next turn. You'd think the game would do me the kindness of letting me lose this damn thing already. Oh no. Okay, it's got to be over next turn, right? I feel like I've been saying that for quite a while. Next turn. Oh, thank God, it's over. It is. Well played to Stu. Uh, <clears throat> I don't... So the reason I have the feeling that this is tough for the Spartans, other than of course that I lost, uh, is I just didn't really know what to do. I mean, I did make an error early on. It cost me a couple of auto drops. And maybe that was enough to tip things, but I don't really think it was. So 
I don't know what I should have done differently. I had less lights and the cavalry situation was similar, but I think his cavalry is a little bit better. So I felt like just like turning around and marching away. A, not very honorable, but also B, don't think it actually would have helped me. Uh, but when he, you know, quickly shifted his best troops from his left back and started marching away, I kind of wasn't sure how to respond to that. Uh, and maybe I should have simply sat still or held back, but that would have led to the loss of my lights and maybe my cavalry, and then I would have started the battle in a disadvantageous position anyway. So, yeah, I mean, if you have any ideas, you can let me know. Otherwise, I'll try to come back to this uh, from the other side someday, against either against Stu or someone of a similar skill level, um, which is to say a high skill level, and see if <laughs> if I still feel like it favors the Thebans when I play as the Thebans, or if other things occur to me. So in the meantime, a good game and a well played to Stu. Till next time.